our categories for the fire hydrants. So that will be under tools, catalogs, fire risk categories. Here you can see we've shipped the software with five categories. You'll see here that we have the high risk, for example, that requires a minimum free flow of 12,000 liters per minute. We also have the minimum flow per hydrant during an, an event of 1,500 liters per minute. During the fire flow analysis, each hydrant will be processed individually. During a hydrant which is a high risk, all hydrants within a radius of 270 meters will be switched on at the same time. This is to calculate the flow requirement for all of these hydrants to be switched on. The required residual head at each hydrant for the high risk will be 15 meters. The placement of each hydrant will be 120 meters apart and the fire flow duration will be six hours for the high risk. So each one will have different uh, values put in there. And if we just go over the different categories, we've got the high risk. These are areas of risk where the fire and the spread of fire is high, such as congested industrial areas, congested commercial areas, warehouse districts, central business districts, and general residential with a floor space ratio of one and greater, where buildings are four stories and more in height. We have then the moderate risk areas. These are areas of risk of fire and the spread of fire is moderate, such as industrial areas, or areas zoned as general residential with a floor space ratio less than one and where buildings are not more than three stories in height commercial areas normally occur in residential districts where buildings are not more than three stories in height we then have the three or categories of the low risk the first is uh, the the low risk areas these are areas in which the risk of fire and the spread of fire is low the categories are subdivided into four groups we have the low risk group one residential areas these are the where the gross floor area of the dwelling house including the outbuildings is generally likely to be more than 200 square meters we have the low risk group two these are residential areas where the gross floor area of the dwelling including the art buildings is likely to be tweet be varied between 100 squares and 200 square meters we then have the low risk group three these are residential areas um, where the gross floor area of the dwelling including the art buildings is generally likely to be less than 55 square meters but not more than 100 square meters this group includes low cost housing schemes with a gross floor area of the dwelling including the art buildings and allowing for extensions by the owner would generally not exceed 100 square meters restrictions in force control the height and the area of the building materials used in the construction and the distance from the common earth boundaries. Attached dwellings units are separated by a firewall with a minimum fire resistance rating of one hour. Should any of these categories not be suitable for your local municipality, you're always welcome to use the add button and fill in all the details required to have your own fire risk categories. Before we close this dialogue, I just wanted us to take note that we'll be dealing with liters per minute for the flow rates in this WebEx.